हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल दिस इज राज फ्रॉम रेडिकल टेक आर्ट योर प्रोसेस ऑटोमेशन स्ट्रेटेजीज टुडे वी आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द एच एल वन डी टेम्परेचर एंड ह्यूमिडिटी डेटा लॉगर ऑफर्ड बाय रोट्रोनिक्स द एच एल वन डी इज पॉटेबल ह्यूमिडिटी एंड टेम्परेचर डेटा लॉगर दैट कैन बी यूज इन कोल्ड चेन लॉजिस्टिक फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रीज एंड एच पी एस इंडस्ट्रीज द एच एल वन डी इज पर्टिकुलरली यूटिलाइज इन लॉजिस्टिक्स एंड द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री ड्यू टू इट्स स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड द इन्फॉर्मेशन इज provides to user in this video we will give you an overview of hl one day its specification and the detailed user parameter settings first let's talk about the overview the hl one day is quite compact with the dimension of approximately 90 by 60 by 23 mm it features a two line lcd display that shows a real time temperature and humidity data on the main device you will find two buttons to the right of the display one is to start and stop button which is used to turn the device on or off and the start or stop the data logging other button is in the mode button by pressing the mode button repeatedly you can cycle through the maximum minimum and average values of the temperature and humidity to the left of the display you can see the sensor used in the device above the display there are two led indicators the left led blinks red when the battery is low or when the alarm threshold is reached the right led blinks green every 5 seconds to the indicate that data logging has started on the back side of the device there are two mounts on the upper side that allows you to easily wall mount the device so back also features two compartments one for the battery and the other one is for the usb port both the compartments have cover that can be opened with the help of the coin on the right side of the device there is an information sticker that includes the model number serial number barcode range and device version along with the hl1d you receive a communication cable that connects the device to the pc for setting parameters and extracting the logged data so viewers that was the overview of the hl1d now next let's take a look at the specification available for this device you can see all the available specification displayed on the table on your screen right now if you can see the range first the hl1d offers a temperature range from minus 30 to 70 degrees celsius and a humidity range from 0 to 100 percentage of rh in terms of accuracy the hl1d provides an accuracy of plus or minus 0.3 degrees celsius for temperature and plus or minus 3 percentage rh for humidity the hl1d allows you to set the logging interval from a minimum of 30 seconds to a maximum of 24 hours it has a storage capacity of 32000 reading please note that when the memory is full the device will stop logging unless you enable the loop cycle memory through the software which the loop cycle memory enabled the device will automatically delete older data to make room for new data by default the display refresh rate is 5 second but once the logging start it automatically changes to the interval time set by you for the battery the hl1d uses a replaceable cr2 button cell with a battery life up to 1 year provided the data logging interval is set to 1 hour at a normal room temperature this device comes with a ip67 protection grade making it suitable for use in cold chains or pharmaceutical industries without worrying about the damaging the product in terms of compliance the device is fda 21 cfr part 11 supported meaning that the data extracted from this consider is valid for worldwide so viewers those were all the specification offered in the hl1d now let's look at the notification available on the hl1d's built-in display how to set up the device and how to extract data from it first we will review all the indications shown on the display please note that not all indication can be displayed at once so for reference you can check the image currently showing on your screen which illustrate all the indications displayed on the device starting from the top left corner of the display the first indication you will see is com which appears when the device is connected to the computer Below that you will find minimum, maximum and average which display the minimum, maximum and average values respectively. Next, the full indication appears when the device storage is full. If the device is in logging mode, you will see the log indication. Next to the log symbol, there is an indication for low battery if the battery is running low. In the top right corner, you will first see the temperature unit indicator, degree Celsius and Fahrenheit which shows the temperature in degree Celsius or Fahrenheit. Below that, you will find the alarm status for high or low temperature. 
below that the relative humidity unit rh percentage is displayed along with the high low alarm status for the relative humidity so this covers all the indications shown on the device screen next we will discuss how to set the device parameter using the hl1d software what data can be downloaded how can download and manage the data and how to start and stop logging using different modes. Please note that the HL1D comes with the Rontronix own software, but it is available at additional cost and has some user interference restrictions. To answer these restrictions, we have developed our own software for the HL1D. Do note that you will need a license to use this software as well. Now, let's explore what is the offer in this software. First, after completing the license process, you will find to log in to the software for the first time. Login credential and licensing information will be provided to you by us. After logging in, you will be taken to the software's homepage. Here you will find a menu bar in the top left corner to select from the given options for the settings. In the top right corner, there are three options. One is to download all the data from the data logger. Second is to clear all data from the data logger. And third is to access the session history. As we mentioned earlier, clicking the menu button will present you with the various menu options. First, let's discuss the user options from the menu list. When you click on the user option, a window will appear on your screen where you can assign multiple users for your different task. You can also enable or disable users and if necessary, you can also delete users. By default, there is an admin user pre-configured and please note that this user cannot be deleted or modified. However, you can change the admin user's password after setting up the software for the first time. In the user settings, there is an option in the top left corner labeled as add user. You can click this option to add a new user. Clicking the add user will open a new window for entering the new user's details. This window contains two sections. First is user info and second is user rights. In the user info section, you can modify such informations like username, full name, password, and user type. By default, there are three user types available. First is admin, second is supervisor, and third is operator. After the feeding all the user details, you can set the user rights. There are total of five main categories of rights. First one is system rights. This option allows you to grant or restrict access to the system. For example, if system drives are disabled, the user will not have the ability to make changes to user settings or the other system options. This option is typically used for the operator user type. As an operator usually needs rights for tasks like download the data or the receipt changes only. Second one is report rights. This option lets you grant users access to report related functions such as creating reports, deleting reports, printing reports, making PDFs or signing the reports. Third device rights is this option allows you to grant users access to device related functions such as downloading data, clearing old data, locking the device and configuring devices settings or stop logging. Fourth is receipt rights. This option lets you grant user access to receipt related functions on the device such as creating, editing, deleting or loading receipts. Fifth and last session rights, these options allow you to grant user access to any sessions. Please note that these rights can be enabled or disabled based on the user's role. So viewers, that covers the user settings. Now let's return to the home screen. After assigning all the users, if you look at the top corner of the menu button, it will display which user is currently logged in. Additionally, from this section, you can change the password for the current users or log out to switch to the different user. Next, let's discuss the settings option from the menu list. The settings option is for configuring software settings. Clicking on this option will show a settings window where you can adjust app settings, reports, header settings, footer settings, user settings, and backup settings. First, if we talk about app settings, here you can set the date format and decimal values. Second, if we see the reports, these options allow you to select the content of your reports according to your preferences. You can choose 
to include values such as average, minimum or maximum and display all or specific value in the report. Third, if we see header settings in this section, you can customize the headings in your reports. You will find three tax header options and one option to select your company's logo. In header one, you can enter your company details. For now, we will enter your company name as Radical Tech Art. In header two, you can specify the department where the HL1D is placed. For example, clean room. In header three, you can enter the process data or unit number such as temperature and humidity. You can also upload your company's logo if you wish in the selection of logo option. If we look in the footer settings, in the footer settings, you can add up to four columns based on your preferences. Each column allows you to choose a column type and the enter the text. The column types include sign, blank sign, page number and text. For example, you might select sign for column one and enter authorized by and for the next column, select sign and enter check by. After setting up report header settings and footer settings, any report you generate will reflect these preferences. Fifth settings that is available in the setting menu is the user settings. In this section, you will find several options like first, auto logout. You can enable or disable auto logout and set the logout time from 1 to 60 minutes. Second is repeat password. This allows you to restrict users from using previous password and you can set a value from 0 to 10. Third is lock after invalid password. You can set a value between 3 to 10 attempts. If a user enters an invalid password more times than allowed, the application will lock itself. Fourth is minimum password length. Set the minimum length required for the password. For example, setting this to four means password must be at least four characters long. Fifth is password policy. Choose a password policy from the list provided to match your preferences. And sixth is password validity. Set how many days a password remains valid before it must be changed. For instance, setting this to 365 days will prompt a password change notification after one year. The repeat password option is linked to the password validity option and restricting the reuse of previous password is a part of ensuring password validity. After configuring all the settings, you can click the save button at the bottom to save your changes. Last menu that is available in your settings is backup settings. This option allows you to set up automatic backups for your software data. So viewers, that covers the settings menu available in the menu list. Now, let's discuss the option related to configuring the HL1D device and the data download. First, we'll cover how to connect the HL1D device to the software. And as previously mentioned, the HL1D comes with the cable for connecting the device to the PC. After logging into the software, you need to connect the HL1D to the PC using a USB cable and the software will automatically detect the device. Once detected, you will see basic information about the HL1D on the application home screen such as battery status, logging status, write protection status, temperature unit, number of records, device version and device type. If this is the first time you are connecting to the data logger, you can configure the settings directly from the home screen. As you can see on the screen at the bottom of the device window, there are several options. First is change device ID or name. You can modify the device name or ID according to your preferences. Second is device configuration. This option includes three settings. First is device humidity and temperature. Device here, you can change the device name, enable or disable the menu key only and enable write protection in which user will require a password for making any changes to device setting. Second is humidity. In the humidity settings, you can enable or disable the humidity alarm, set the upper limit for humidity, set the lower humidity or set the humidity hysteresis. For temperature, similar to the humidity settings, you can configure temperature alarm, set the temperature unit between Celsius and Fahrenheit and adjust other temperature settings. After configuring all these settings, make sure to save them to use the device with the new configurations. To the right of the device configuration settings, you will find the log settings. The first option available in log setting is logging start mode. 
where you can choose from three options. First is auto start. Send a specific time for the device to start logging automatically. Ensure the device clock is properly synced. Second is manual start. Start logging manually using a button on the device. Third is start now. The device will start logging immediately after applying the changes and disconnecting it from the PC. Second option available in log setting is logging stop mode in which you can choose between manual stop and auto stop. Third, you will find logging interval in log settings where you can set the logging interval between 30 seconds and 24 hours. The software will show an estimate of how long the longest memory will last with the selected interval. Fourth option that is available in log setting is loop cycle memory in which you can enable or disable loop cycle memory. So this was all about the log setting and next to it you will find logging stop option where you can stop logging and next to it there is an option to download the data. Next to download the data option you will find clear data. You use this option to clear data from the device and lastly you will find more info where you can check detailed information about the device. Note that device settings from the home screen are only available if there is no data stored on the device. Now, let's talk about the recipe option, which is the fourth option in the main menu list. This feature is the main USB of our software. Imagine you have a processing plant with the multiple clean rooms each requiring a device with the specific settings if you have 150 device across three floors and each floor is having around 50 clean rooms you can use this the recipe settings to streamline the configuration process you can configure a particular recipe and upload it to a multiple devices here's let's see how it works click the add recipe option to open a new window with our four section first is recipe details in the recipe details, you can enter the recipe name, description and enable or disable the menu key only option. Second is lock settings. In the lock setting, you can configure settings such as start mode, stop mode, log interval and loop cycle memory similar to the device configuration which we saw earlier in this video. Third is humidity and temperature. Here you can set alarm limits hysteresis and temperature units same as we have done it before in the device configuration. After configuring all the parameters, click the confirm button to save the recipe. You can then upload this recipe to any device by connecting the device to the software. User must wait for 5 to 6 seconds so that the device gets connected properly after that by clicking the load recipe. Option you can load the recipe to the device. In the recipe settings home screen, you can view edit, upload and delete recipes. The last two menu namely report and download report. Menus are available in menu list. Manage the data and extract the data. First, we will talk about the reports. Here you can filter and download the reports. Click on new reports to open a window where you can set the filters like start and stop date, time, log interval, data selection, device number and custom details. After applying the filters, click the confirm button to download the data. The software will display data if available or show no data found if not. After generating reports, data can be viewed in four formats. First is table, graph, alarm threshold and summary. You can sign, print and download the data as a PDF for FDA compliance. Next in menu list, you will find download reports. Here you can check the history of all the downloaded data. You can filter by device, name and view or download specific data. The last option in menu list is audit trial log option. It will provide a history of all the changes made in the software including login times, device connection and configuration changes. This all concludes our overview of HL1D from Rotronic and the associated software for its operation and data management. Hope you all like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video very helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. See you all in my next video. Thank you so much.